Hi everyone, I'm Jana Mason. I'm the principal at Bluffs Middle School and I would like to welcome you to the virtual uh, sixth grade orientation that we have scheduled for you and your student. We look forward to seeing you in the fall and um, just know that we will continue to provide information um, as we learn more in terms of the structure, but we want to go through today and just give you some information that will get you started and just know that um, we will be with you every step of the way. So I'm going to share my screen. Um, I have have a short PowerPoint that will give you quite a bit of information and um, we'll go ahead and get started. Let me share my screen and um, that'll provide a little more information for us. Okay. So um, again, I would just like to welcome you to our sixth grade orientation. Our goal for today is really to eliminate um, any kind of anxiety or um, provide information for you that will really assure that we um, are gonna help with this transition and take great care of your student and you as you um, transition into our new building. So I just wanted to again reiterate, I'm Jana Mason, I'm the principal at Bluffs Middle School. Uh, Dr. Bree Rock is one of our assistant principals. Uh, Mr. Jason Blanco is also one of our assistant principals and assistant activities director for the district. And the sixth grade counselor for this year is um, Mrs. Shanna Dick. So just a couple things that we want to stress about Bluffs Middle School. I want you to know that we believe in student achievement and support and making sure that we are addressing all needs of students and so here are just a couple of things that our staff have um, put together in terms of belief statements. Uh, we believe all students can learn, all students have the ability to excel and experience success at school, all decisions support student achievement and their well-being, all students need an emotional and academic support, all students need to feel safe and supported at school, most importantly, all parents are welcomed and encouraged to participate in their child's education. We're fortunate that you are entrusting your child to us and you are the experts and we will definitely lean on you and look to your guidance to make sure that we are doing the very best for your student at Bluffs Middle School. And we also believe that all students need to feel a sense of belonging um, when they're um, in an academic setting um, and that is what we strive for at Bluffs Middle School. Additionally, we have some support systems in place. We have Teammates, which is a mentoring program where we have adults that will come in and, and work with students. New this year, we'll talk a little bit more about it as we go through the presentation, but we have a peer mentoring program um, that is called Web, where everybody belongs. And what that does, it will take eighth grade leaders, students who have been nominated and selected by staff and, um, and peers to become leaders, and we will mentor them, um, assign them a, sixth, a group of sixth graders that will really help with that transition and um, really help them answer questions um, as we go through and, and help support that transition. So we'll talk a little bit more about that, but we are really excited to have the web program, um, very similar to what the high school does, um, their link crew, where the juniors uh, mentor the freshmen. So we are excited to be able to have our eighth graders mentor our incoming sixth graders. Um, we also, this year, will have uh, weekly student advisory groups, very similar to what your student is experiencing right now, probably through virtual learning where teachers are reaching out. We are going to continue to replicate that and um, students will be assigned um, an adult in the building and uh, that will give us time to really increase um, individual contact and create relationships. So we'll talk a little bit more about that. We have after school tutoring, we have licensed mental health practitioner on staff, we have grade level counselors, um, we have a collective advisory team where I would really encourage parents to get involved in and um, really help us uh, make BMS the best it can be with your input. Um, and we have fabulous community partners um, in, our, in our community and they support us and are just willing to really support and do um, a lot of activities with us. So we're very fortunate. Additionally, I just wanted to let you know um, the structure of our building a little bit. Students at Bluffs Middle School will have a middle school schedule, which provides uh, teachers and rooms um, for each subject. But what we do strive for is a teaming approach. And so even though students are moving class to class, they will have a core academic um, group of teachers that really work to focus on their needs. 
So talking about placement on teams, um, incoming students, your sixth grade student will be assigned to one of two teams. They will be a Bearcat or a Puma. Um, student needs and programs will determine team assignments. And so unfortunately, um, we, we generally do not honor requests. There's, there are a lot of uh, moving parts and we wanna make sure that we can place students uh, where we believe they'll be most successful. Um, and students and parents will receive more information in August. And so just kind of be on the lookout for that, whether it's through the mail or electronically. And then of course, um, all of the social media platforms our district has. So just a little bit about the, some of the sixth grade classes. So here are, here are the five core classes that each sixth grade student will be involved in. They will have a math class and our curriculum is illustrative math. They will have an ELA class, an English language arts class, and our core is wit and wisdom. They will also have science, and that is science fusion with some discovery education um, to provide enrichment opportunities. We will have, they will have social studies, obviously um, using the discovery education platform as well. They will have um, physical education all year long. They will have a block in their day where they will have a 25 minute homeroom and a 25 minute lunch. They will be offered exploratory classes and intervention and support classes in math and reading. So the grading at the Bluff, at Bluffs Middle School, um, their percentages and very um, different from the elementary level. Um, you are familiar with standards-based reporting at the at the elementary level. Um, we're back to a traditional um, percentage grades, and so you'll really want to encourage your student to stay on top of things. You'll see down here at the bottom daily assignments are 30% of the students grade and their assessments are 70% of their grade. So we wanna give them lots of opportunities to practice before we ask them to show mastery. So here are a couple of the exploratory classes your student will experience um, throughout their year as a sixth grader at Bluffs Middle School. Characters and caddies, uh, Chinese culture and language, incredible edible science, intro to art, introduction to music, um, keyboard, and cyber safety. This is a requirement um, that all sixth graders will take, so you will um, see that on their schedule. They also have an opportunity to take study skills. Um, if they are, if they are um, interested and currently involved in band or orchestra, that is a, a possibility as well. That's a year-long class. And we also are very fortunate to have a Project Lead the Way course um, that is design and modeling. So in addition to all of the amazing cores that we offer and our exploratory classes, we also have um, very specific interventions that will follow the multi-tier system of support. And so we have um, math and reading intervention classes to support your students. So um, in the reading realm of what we can offer, we have a Wilson reading group, we have Just Words, we have a program that is called Read 180 um, that are very specific and tailored to student needs and also new to BMS um, that we started last year. We have support classes for the ELA piece and also for math that will provide students with a little bit of a double dose um, of that content to set them up to be successful. Uh, again, we kind of already mentioned the after school tutoring. So we run uh, nine week quarters. Um, beginning the third week of each quarter is when um, tutoring is available for students after school. Uh, please don't misunderstand us though. Teachers are always available. It's not that students need to wait <laughs> to receive help until the third week, um, but that is just the formal uh, tutoring schedule that we put in place um, that coincides with activities. Of course, we have summer school that um, we offer to all students. Student, all students at Bluffs Middle School, including our sixth graders, of course, um, are able to complete an honors project, and that can be in science and social studies. We also have um, a high ability learner program that students um, are identified for. And again, like I mentioned earlier, we have advisory groups, and those groups will meet once a week with students. 
So students will have a 25 minute homeroom time um, and that is in, um, included in their lunch time. So there's a 50 minute period, 25 minutes is spent in the cafeteria and 25 minutes um, will be spent in a homeroom setting. And at that time, students are able to um, check their grades. If there are missing assignments, they can follow up on assignments and, and get things done. We also have created, um, Mrs. Shattuck is our media specialist and she has created a schedule that allows every student at Bluffs Middle School to access our media center um, at least once a week. So that, that's really exciting. And that is another piece that can happen um, during their homeroom. So this is a little bit of the uh, peer mentoring program I briefly described. So new for this year, sixth graders will be assigned to an eighth grade web leader. Peer mentoring has proven to increase academic success, sense of belonging, and overall support for students as they transition to the middle school. So eighth grade web leaders will meet with our sixth graders um, at the fall orientation and then the ongoing activities and support will be scheduled throughout the school year. Uh, we have a couple eighth grade teachers who are the uh, web sponsors and that is Mrs. Sarah McGeehee. She's a math teacher on the eighth grade floor and also Mr. Castle. He is one of our eighth grade science teachers. So look look for more information on that and we are very excited to implement this at the middle school advisory groups um, we will be placing students in groups of about 15 to 20 students they will meet every wednesday um, the goal of our advisory groups is to um, create community and building activities social, emotional, and academic support for students. Um, we will look to complete service projects, both in and out of our building, and all students will receive um, digital citizenship and internet safety during that time. We talked a little bit about the honors program, and so all BMS students will have the opportunity to pursue um, an honors project. Um, we have a presentation and parents are invited and it's just really fun to see how creative kids are and um, just for them to learn, um, learn a lot about a, a content that they are passionate about. So um, honors opportunities are assignments um, and projects that challenge and demonstrate a deeper level of understanding um, and concepts. So they are self-selected within a content area. Additionally, um, the honors program at the middle school, it's um, really an alternative learning choice for students. And if they want to learn about something, um, um, explore something, it's more challenging opportunities. It's not necessarily just more assignments. Um, this coincides with our science and social studies enrichment course that we provide. And so projects generally emerge from those classes. Um, so anyone who is available uh, or anyone who is interested, it's available to any student who would like to partake. And if they do complete their project, there is a notation on their report card that they completed that. Um, one thing that we want to make sure kids understand is that um, involvement and participation once they get to the middle school and athletics start um, in seventh grade. But what our sixth graders can participate in um, is cross country. And let me explain that a little bit more. So all sixth graders are allowed to participate. However, um, you will not be allowed to participate or to, no, you will not be allowed to compete in the competitions, but you are welcome to train, become part of a team and practice. Um, practice times are generally in the morning or after school, depending on the weather. We know what the fall weather brings for us. Um, and we have had numerous sixth graders in the past participate um, in the cross country um, um, program. And it's a great way for them to kind of get in shape understand the team concept and really start to be a part of the BMS um, committee or community. So more information will follow. And um, yeah, if your student is interested, be sure to, to reach out to someone. So here are a lot of frequently asked questions that a lot of parents and students have as they enter um, into the middle school. So the medical requirements, um, you'll see over on the side, the left-hand side, I have um, given you Mrs. Wheeler's email address. That is our school nurse. And 
She will be able to walk you through and answer any questions that you may have um, about any of these requirements, but it's really extremely important that students um, are able to provide their um, paperwork. And so entrance requirements and these things need to be turned in um, prior to enrollment. So um, if students are currently in the district um, and you're, um, when they're coming in, we just need to make sure that we would have records um, on file. So immunizations, um, they just need to make sure, make sure that they are up to date. I have included the link that will take you directly to the, um, to the um, DHHS website that can provide a little more information. It is important that um, if you have questions, please reach out to Amy Wheeler and she will be able to um, provide you with some great information. One other thing um, that I just want to stress is that if your student has any severe um, allergies that may require an EpiPen or a diet um, modification, um, diabetes, um, if they're prone to seizures or any other significant health condition, health condition you'll want to make sure that we're aware of that and contact our school nurse and um, make, we then will ensure that we have the um, appropriate paperwork on file and to make sure all departments are aware of needs and restrictions uh, so we can take great care of your student and address their medical needs. Additionally, um, in terms of the health uh, requirements, so we do have an, an RN on staff with us and that is Amy Wheeler. We also have um, CNAs, which are the nursing assistants, and we also have um, health office assistants that are able to um, fill in from time to time when needed. BMS also has a first responder team who are trained in CPR and attack on asthma. Um, if extensive care beyond basic first aid is required um, for the student, uh, the student's parent or guardian or emergency, um, emergency contact will be notified. So it's really important that um, as you're completing paperwork and turning, the, turning information in that we have um, updated and accurate contact numbers. Um, in regard to medication, if your student requires a prescription or over-the-counter medication during the school year, make sure that you reach out to Mrs. Wheeler. Uh, medication must be delivered to the school health office in the original labeled container by an adult. Loose capsules or tablets or unlabeled medication um, cannot be accepted. We just need to make sure that um, everything is secure. Medication will be administered by the health staff or other staff members who have received training in school medication administration um, and that, that they have met the required competency standards to do so. Uh, the health office does stock first aid medications such as neosporin, hydrocortisone creams, cough drops, saline eye drops, um, insect, sting swabs, and topical cooling gel. Um, but again, if your student cannot have such products, It'll be really important for us to know that. And um, so providing the health, or the health office, our nurse with that information will be very beneficial. So school-wide um, positive supports um, is, is what we believe in at the middle school. And so three expectations um, are throughout the entire building. So we expect students to be safe, be, respond, uh, be respectful, and be responsible. This applies to um, every aspect in our building, in the, in the restroom, in the office, uh, classrooms, media center, after school clubs and tutoring, in the gym, in the cafeteria, and this also includes activities. We, we wanna be proud of our BMS students and we know that um, when we are in public, we want to always um, maintain a positive attitude um, and sportsmanship that represents BMS in a positive light. So we're building hours. Um, breakfast begins at 7.15 a.m. Um, if your student is eating breakfast, you will need to use the south entrance, and that's the main entrance where that circle drive is off of 23rd. So breakfast begins at 7.15. Students may be in the hallway at 7.40. Um, classes begin at 7.45 a.m. Our dismissal is 3.02. And to students who are not involved in tutoring or any kind of an activity, we ask that they are off grounds by 315. 
So where will your student wait in the morning when they come to the middle school? So students are required to wait in their assigned areas upon arrival at the middle school. Students will enter specific doors by grade level in the morning after the bell rings. This should prevent um, accidents um, and overcrowding. Sixth grade students, um, you will be familiar, you'll be on the east side of the building, the annex, and um, that's just to give you a little point of reference, St. Agnes is on that, um, that same side of our building, so there's a patio area there. Um, students are expected to stay off of the grass, um, but line up there on the concrete sidewalks and um, uh, patio area and just wait to be let in. Seventh graders um, will remain, um, will uh, enter through the main entrance and so they also will be out front and um, on sidewalks in the eighth grade they are on the west side of the building um, just so we can kind of spread kids out keep them safe and avoid overcrowding so um, as schedules are started uh, as we start to generate schedules and if your student would have a question or need some information about their schedule or they need to, they would like to change something um, that's what your school counselor is for and so as we get through and um, start in, start into the fall and if you have questions and even throughout the year you will want to contact mrs. Dick she is the sixth grade the sixth grade counselor um, and mrs. Goodwin is our eighth grade counselor and we just had a change in our eighth grade staff and um, Mrs. Davis, who has been with us for a long time, has accepted a new position. And so she will not be with us, but we are very fortunate that we will have Mrs. Cosman, who currently is a teacher on staff, um, but she will be joining us in the counseling department. So uh, all students when they come to the middle school are provided a Chromebook. And so we have what is called the Device Assisted Learning Initiative. And what that is, we have a lot of digital curriculum. Um, we believe in a blended learning classroom. So that is a blend of print materials and also um, the digital piece. And so your student will be issued a Chromebook and a power cord and a protective case. And that will be your student's responsibility to keep track of that and um, prevent it from being damaged um, all year long. And so we'll talk a little bit more about those expectations and, and what that looks like and, and how we get those to your student um, when time allows. One thing I just wanna make sure that I draw your attention to is that prior to your student receiving a Chromebook, a school issued Chromebook as an incoming sixth graders, there are three very, very important forms that we will need to have on file. Um, and that is the acceptable use policy, also known as the AUP, the responsible use um, policy as well, which are, um, that also just kind of defines expectations um, and limits with the Chromebooks. And also the third um, piece that needs to be submitted prior to your student being issued a Chromebook is our handbook and acknowledgement form. So all three of those forms will be available at the beginning of the year, but it will be extremely important that um, you make that a priority to get those forms signed and returned so we can um, issue your student their own Chromebook. So we get a lot of questions about additional devices. What about my cell phone? What about if I bring some, some other kind of technology device to school? Can I, can I use that um, at school? The short answer is no. Um, we really discourage that. We do not want additional technology devices being brought. One, it's, um, we, we don't want anything to get lost or broken or stolen. And so it will be really important that you bring your school issued Chromebook charged um, every, every day and ready to go. We know that students have cell phones. We know if that's just the way um, people communicate. We know that um, that's, that's just how it is right now. However, phones are not allowed in the classroom. And so it will be very, very important that if you bring your phone to school that, um, and you'll see in there between the hours of 738 when you're allowed in the building and 302 when you are dismissed, that your phones are um, shut off and put in your lockers. So cell phones and other personal listening um, devices are just not something that you will need um, or have access to during the school, the school day. 
So how can you find out what's going on at Bluffs Middle School? Several ways. You'll always want to visit the district website um, at www.sbps.net and um, it will uh, guide you to the Bluffs Middle School page. There's, you can also have district information, um, any of the elementary schools, but specific to BMS, you will want to click on, click on our link. Uh, I will send a, a newsletter via Remind every month, and when there are additional updates, um, those will be sent out as well. Uh, we have cat tracks. Those are our daily assignments, and once those are read to students in the morning, they are then um, placed on the website. So you'll be able to see what your student hears every morning um, to kind of maintain effective communication. We have a school calendar. We use the Remind app pretty frequently to communicate. Um, and I know that you're going from an elementary setting to the middle school setting where you, where you will have lots of teachers to manage. And so we try to be mindful of that and we have a system in place um, to hopefully reduce the amount of messages that you're getting. Uh, you can also find information about Bluffs Middle School on our Twitter page, um, and that is at BMS Cats. Uh, we will talk to you and show you how to get um, signed up for Infinite Campus. That will be really important for parents. Uh, students don't love this, but parents, you are able to check grades and see if they have missing assignments or check their attendance. Um, and discipline referrals, if those happen to, to come up as well. So we will walk you through that process and help you get signed up so you can access the, um, the parent portal inside of Infinite Campus. Additionally, we have a sign out front um, that will provide information so you can see that um, as you're driving by. Teachers do a great job with their web pages, um, individual pages. And of course, um, you can always email any staff member, and it's just the first initial and then their last name at svps.net. So when I talked a little bit about the Infinite Campus and the Parent Portal, very important. Um, parents will help, you, will help you get signed up, but you can check grades, attendance, behavior referrals. And so that will just be something that um, is new. If, you, if this is the first student that you have coming into the middle school, uh, elementary looks a little different. Um, middle school allows you to check uh, grades as frequently as, as you'd like. So that's a, a great tool for parents. So um, I just gave you a lot of information and um, we, we know that we um, are a little uncertain in terms of what the fall brings, but just know we, uh, we will communicate um, all information as quickly as possible. We, we just wanna make sure everyone is healthy and safe and when it's safe to return to the building, um, we will do that. So continue to watch for information that will be sent um, through the mail, through email, um, of course the social media sites and um, we will do everything we can to maintain contact. So please reach out to any of us. Um, again, you can reach us via our email. Um, Dr. Rock is one of the assistant principals. Uh, Mr. Blanco is an assistant principal. Shanna Dick is your student's uh, counselor this year. Um, and so we, we, will, we are excited. We will do everything we can to um, make your transition successful. So the last thing, the last piece of this um, that really is probably way more important than um, me talking to you, Mrs. Shattuck has put together um, a short video that kind of shows the day in the life of students at BMS. And um, please note the introductions of myself and Mr. Bonko and Dr. Rock. And we probably should have put the bloopers on because that um, five second introduction probably took us about a hundred times to do it. Um, we could just couldn't quite get it together. So um, we have a lot of fun at, at, at the middle school. Um, we look forward to meeting you and your student, and we will do everything we can um, to support you through this transition. So take a look at this video um, and we will be in touch soon. So have a wonderful day. Hi, I'm Mrs. Shattuck, and this video is to show you a little bit about BMS. We can't be in the building right now, but we can give you a small idea about what to expect. Hi, welcome to Bluffs Middle School. I'm Jana Mason, the building principal. 
I'm Jason Blanco, Assistant Principal, Assistant Activities Director. I'm Bree Rock, Assistant Principal. This is the BMS Counseling Office. Each grade level is assigned a guidance counselor. Let's meet our BMS counselors. Hi, welcome counselors. to the BMS Counseling Office. I'm Mrs. D, one of the counselors. And I'm Mrs. Davis, one of the counselors. I'm Mrs. Goodwin, one of the counselors. And I'm Hopi, I am the secretary here in the Counseling Office. Welcome. Each student at BMS is assigned to a team in their grade level. These teams consist of four core teachers that you spend the whole year with. All teams are named after a specific cat. Sixth grade are the Pumas or Bearcats. Seventh grade are Bobcats or Arctic Cats. And eighth grade are the Panthers or Tigers. Your locker will be with your teammates as well. Every student at BMS is assigned their own locker that has a combination lock. Sixth graders, don't worry. Your teachers will give you time to practice opening your locker when you start at BMS. Your passing time in between classes is always four minutes. Use that time wisely. If you are tardy for class, you will have to serve detention with the teacher after school. Exploratory classes are classes that students sometimes get to choose and are different from core classes like math or social studies. Some of BMS's exploratory classes include computer science, web page design, money and you, intro to marketing, healthy living, Asian cultures, career exploration, choir, band, cooking for teens, art, and much more. All BMS students take PE. Sixth graders have PE all year. Seventh and eighth grade students take PE for one semester. PE classes are taught by Mrs. Talkington, Mr. Berta, and Mr. Stadola. Here's Mrs. Talkington to explain how PE works at BMS. Hi, my name is Brooks Talkington. I teach PE at Bluffs Middle School. Um, I have all the seventh and eighth grade girls. Uh, Mr. Berta has all of the seventh and eighth grade boys and Mr. Stadola teaches all of the sixth graders. Uh, at BMS PE, the sixth graders have PE all year long, every day and they are required to just make sure they have tennis shoes on a daily basis. They do not dress out for PE. Now the seventh and eighth graders have PE for one semester each year and they do dress out in the locker rooms and so they're required to bring, make sure they have tennis shoes every day, a t-shirt, and a pair of shorts that they change into. Uh, we have our syllabus online on our web pages on the um, school website and so any questions that you have are probably going to be able to be answered just by looking at that syllabus. Um, we're happy to answer any questions. Our emails are on there and happy to have you here at BMS. Buses always drop off students on the west side of BMS. This is the same spot buses will pick students up at the end of the day. Each grade level at BMS has a designated spot to wait each day when students arrive. The expectation is that you wait on the sidewalk and stay off the grass. You will stay in your designated area until staff give you the okay to enter the building. Once winter hits, BMS students wait inside. During the winter months, BMS students can enter their grade level designated doors when they arrive at school and sit by their lockers until the bell rings. Each grade level eats lunch during a different period of the day. During that time, students eat lunch for half of the period and spend the other half of the period in homeroom. When students arrive in the cafeteria, they are allowed to place a book or a pencil bag on the seat they would like to sit in to save their seat while they get their food. Chromebooks are placed in the middle of the table. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, girls get to go through the lunch line first. Tuesdays and Thursdays, boys go first. When you are finished eating, dump your tray and return to your seat until the supervision staff instructs you to meet your homeroom teacher or the bell rings to go to the next period. Homeroom is a time to get your homework done, read, learn digital citizenship, and visit the BMS library. If you have lunch A, you will meet your homeroom teacher in the cafeteria. Lunch B students go to homeroom first, then teachers will escort students to the cafeteria. Sometimes you need to visit the nurse. Nurse Wheeler will explain how nursing practices work at BMS. Hello, my name is Nurse Wheeler. 
everywhere. Um, I work at the middle school. Um, there's a few things we want to address to keep your students safe and hopefully successful. Number one are medications. All medications need to be kept in the health office. All prescription medications require doctor's orders that match the prescription label. Um, over the counter medications, parents can sign an information form for this and you can provide the medication on less than 24 tablets. For um, any asthma or anaphylactic plans, these need to be renewed every school year. Students can self-carry their inhalers and we do encourage that here at the middle school. Um, I do recommend EpiPids be kept here on the health office. For any other health condition um, that might affect your student's school day, including diabetes, seizures, and dietary plans, please let me know as there's some paperwork that we need for those. Um, for all seventh graders, uh, make sure you get your seventh, school, seventh grade school physical before the beginning of the school year and our current and all organizations. This is the BMS Media Center. All BMS students are able to access the Media Center during their designated homeroom times to check out books and use other elements of the Media Center. All students at Bluffs Middle School are issued a Chromebook to use for school purposes. BMS students are personally responsible for their Chromebooks. If you need help with your Chromebook, you can visit Mrs. Shattuck and Mrs. Collins in the BMS Media Center. You will learn more about Chromebook expectations in the fall.